Never ignore one simple sign because you may lose your brakes. Stay with us, we'll explain all it is. Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a car, any car, BMW, Mercedes, German, European, American, Asian guys. If you guys have a hot burning smell coming from the wheels when you stop, stay with us, we'll explain what it is. In some cases it could be something normal. Let's say you went down a hill, mountain pass, you use your brakes quite a bit, you were pulling a trailer, you were using the brakes, in some cases it could be normal, but in other cases it could indicate a really serious problem that can guys cause more trouble and maybe it can cause even loss of brakes. So never ignore that, we'll explain what to look for guys. So all that will be covered today. Before we start, let me just tell you a little bit about us guys. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos. Why we do that? Because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need guys in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep making these absolutely free videos guys. We're constantly getting new cars here at the garage, working on that BMW now. We got a Dodge Challenger that will be working. We have more than 15 vehicles waiting to be shot guys, so videos are coming all the time. If you need help with anything, leave a comment below uh, our videos and we'll try to make a video for your problem that way we can help you we can help other people with that problem and we can build a community where we help each other if you need to buy any parts tools for your car at a really good price and quick shipping check out the link in the description of the video below that's where we get all our two supplies from guys and you can save a ton of money so we'll demonstrate here on that BMW guys let's say we'll explain a few scenarios you're driving Okay, maybe through a mountain pass. Okay, you're using your brakes quite a bit. You stop uh, at a turner, uh, at a scenic pass, gas station, anything like that, guys. You stop and you smell burning smell from the wheels. That could be in some cases normal from excessive use of your brakes because they can be getting really hot. But in other cases, it could indicate a problem as well. In some cases, it could be most of the times, okay, on the phone, you will notice it, or it could be individual wheel on the car anywhere. Uh, why we say the font usually will be normal uh, because if you use your brakes a lot most of the braking power will go to the front wheels and a little bit less to the rear uh, because the rear of your vehicle is usually lighter and uh, it's uh, made to where most of the braking power goes to the front but uh, talking about that now guys okay it could be any wheel that has that burning hot smell coming off of it and what can sometimes cause that uh, if it's not the normal use excessive use of brakes it could be guys okay in some cases if you have uh, glazed brake pads check out this gla pa gla uh, brake pad right here that's really old and hard and uh, it's been exposed to a lot of heat it's practically burned which makes it really hard it has that glazed mirror finish the roller itself too that will require extra friction, extra force, and that will create extra friction to slow you down, which will release more heat. So old pads, old brakes, and glazed rollers can easily cause that. That's why it's recommended every time you replace the brake pads, you need to either replace the disc rollers or resurface them if they're thick enough, guys, and it's safe to do so. Now, something else that can cause, okay, that smell. It could be guys seized up brakes because you're driving it could happen on flat or even going uphill without using the brakes you slow down you stop one of the wheels has that hot burning smell it is very likely you have seized up uh, uh, brakes guys that can be caused by multiple things in some cases it could be something simple such as the caliper glides right here the pins that allow the caliper to move left and right those are supposed to be replaced guys on most vehicles when you do brakes uh, they're very inexpensive uh, but sometimes they can be rusted they can have build up that will not allow them to move and as a result the brake caliper may not center itself and you may have uh, dragging brakes another thing that can cause that guys okay having a seized up brake caliper could be the piston being seized up here that means that the piston when you apply the brakes that piston will expand so it will put pressure on the brake pads uh, and that will put pressure on the disc and you start slowing down but when you release the brake paddle that piston will go by about half a millimeter in from the vacuum so you will release the pressure of the brakes that way but if that piston is seized up it will not go back in it will just come out stay there and that can cause pressure guys and that will cause seized up brakes so seized up caliper piston will cause that we'll have a video on the channel that will explain how to fix seize the brake caliper 
everything from start to finish on the channel check it out it will teach you how to do that those are some of the most common things we see guys now in other cases if you guys went through a mountain pass or use your brakes excessively and uh, you notice that the brakes started like the steering wheel started shaking when you apply brakes uh, brake paddles start pulsating that means that you have a disc brake roller that's uh, uh, not even it's not straight and as a result you have low and high spots and that can affect uh, the stopping power as well because the brake pads will not be able to follow guys practically uh, the uneven surface of the roller that will cause brake pulsation and you have limited stopping power because only half of the disc practically will be working as a result that can start overheating your brakes and that can cause that burning smell as well but never ignore it guys we we'll recommend to get a heat gun uh, when you slow down check the front the wheels need to be at about the same speed the brakes and the rear wheels need to be at about the same speed left and right side and front left and front right as well need to be about matching uh, in some cases it could be a bad bearing wheel bearing but that uh, it does happen but usually most of the times will be brakes if let's say you're driving your vehicle you haven't used your brakes and you still have that burning smell when you stop it could be better wheel bearing you can check the temperature of the bearing with a heat gun and compare it to the other side and if it's way hotter that's your problem hopefully the video will be helpful to any of you uh, needing that information thank you for watching see you next time